I was fasting and waiting on the Lord on the 9th of November last year, and in the evening of that day the Lord himself told me to lie down for he wanted to show me a dispensation, I did as instructed by the Lord, when he appeared he told me, this is your Lord and Saviour who died for you on the cross of Calvary two thousand years ago, in the blink of an eye, I saw that I was standing before the gate of heaven, then the Lord showed me my spiritual condition, I saw myself the way God saw me, when I look at myself I saw that mighty water coming out of me as if there was a fountain in my heart, I saw limpid and sparkling water gushing from my innermost part and flowing to all the part of my body, the crystalline water flew toward my arms, feet and head, I wish I could describe the celestial sensation I felt when the living water was gushing out of my heart, the Lord said, the fountain of water you see gushing from your heart is my word in you, which purified you, Colossians 3 verse 16 let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, the Lord said my daughter, this spring and fountain of living water in your heart is only the first step of preparation, that will help you make it to the rapture, John 4 13 verse 14 everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give will never be thirsty. The water I give will become a spring of water gushing up inside that person, giving eternal life. The Lord said daughter, the water you see gushing from your innermost being is the living word of God in you but before you become a fountain of living water, first and foremost you had to go through the blood of atonement, in order to become united with my word, immediately I remember the passage of John 7 verse 38, anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. Rivers of living water will brim and spill out of the depths of anyone who believes in me this way, just as the scripture says. Brethren the spring of crystalline water that flow from my heart was so pure and clean and so brilliant and sparkling, because sin could not come close to it, there was no sin in the source of my fountain. The water that flowed from my fountain was not stagnant, may the Lord fill us with his word, so that this water will clean the whole of our being from sin, that is supposed to go away, and may the Lord make us a fountain of living water, that wash clean all the member of our body from sin so that when the trumpet of the Lord sound you and I will be rapture, may the spring and fountain in us be clean, pure and sparkling, for the more this water is gushing out of our inner being the more sin is swept away from our member, the Lord say these are the preparation I expect you to make in order to be rapture and enter heaven, but this is the first level of preparation, but my daughter the next level of preparation is prayer, understand that prayer is a flame, a flame of fire, when the Lord was still showing me the fountain of water in my heart, I was thinking the water will put out the flame of fire, but when I was praying I saw that this living water which was the word of God did the opposite, the living water acted like fuel to ignite my flame of fire more and more, I saw that the living water from my innermost part had set the flame of fire ablaze greatly, turning me to a pillar of fire, thus when a believer is filled with the word of God, which is the living water, and maintain a life of prayer. He become a pillar of fire, the pure living water ignite the flame of fire which is our prayer, may the Lord set us ablaze so that we can become pillar of fire, he makes his angels winds, his servants flames of fire, the Lord said the only way that the enemy can quench this pillar of fire is through the mind, the enemy know that he cannot come close to the pillar of fire. So he will begin to attack the mind, he come around like an animal and use fear. When the believer begin to fear and experience doubt and murmuring in whatever situation and circumstance around him, that's when the pillar of fire start to go off gradually, until the enemy enter, the Bible say that the enemy move around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, when you give place to the devil who will make his dwelling place in you the fire that is in you will gradually extinguished, and when the flame go down my angels that I have sent in your life their power and strength also go down the more you are burning in great fire the stronger they are. The less fire in you the less power they have, beloved I saw that the more fire in the believer the stronger the angelic flames and even the flaming sword of angels released greater flames when we are blazing fire, the Lord made me understand that the blazing flame of fire is what the church need in order to be rapture, 
I saw that when the believer allow the Spirit of God to lead him in a life of Bible reading and prayer, this devotion generate the light in the innermost part of the believer, to the point that the light become his cover, forming like wings of angel, the Lord made me understand that it is this brilliance of light that enable the believer to be transformed in the rapture and access the kingdom of heaven, may the Lord turn our heart to a fountain of living water that will be gushing all over our temple cleaning all impurity and sin so that we will make it to the kingdom of heaven, may the Lord rekindle his fire in us, through the fuel which is the living water, so that we can enter the celestial world, may the Lord generate the radiant light in us through his spirit so that we can join the Lamb's celebration when the trumpet sound in Jesus name, when the archangel will sound the trumpet, it is the spring of living water in us, combine with the radiance of light, and the blazing fire that will allow the body of the believer to be transformed and be propelled in the air to meet the Lord, brethren we need limpid water to flow from our heart and turn our flame to pillar of fire, so that the Spirit of God may cover us with radiance of light, for these three element enable the last transformation and immortality, 1 TG 43 add FB Corinthians 15 verse 53 for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? Then, 